Kansas Farm Bureau is celebrating 100 years of advocacy, education, and service. Leaders like the Dahlsteins have forged a path for Kansas farmers and ranchers through their service to their communities, industries, and farm organization. This is sort of a, the beginning, and it's probably not that unusual, but for us it's one of those memorable days that I'll never forget. I was on the trench silo and a neighbor walked up behind the tractor and he said, I think I've been on the Farm Bureau board long enough. You need to run for board this fall. And I was elected and another gentleman that we sort of knew, he said, you need to go to the annual meeting and be a voting delegate. <laughs> said, okay. And as we say, almost the rest is history because literally then in two years, we were asked to be on the YFNR committee. And from there, it's uh, blossomed into several different things. Uh, and so it's been a lifelong uh, part of our farming operation. I think Larry and I have both been very fortunate in having doors opened for us by other people. So I was a member of the YFNR committee with Larry. We served as couples. The next opportunity, another door opened, was would you like to be on the state women's committee, as it was known then? I said, sure. We visited about it. I ran for that position. I was fortunate to win. Uh, would you like to be and run for the vice chair of that committee, which then sat at at the table for the policy development. From that, um, the opportunity to be a full Kansas Farm Bureau board member arose. Uh, the election was held, the election was successful. Another door that opened, and as those doors kept opening, always came back to the farm, to the family, and said, here's some opportunities, is this something we want to do? Well, so 11 years I sat there as a full board member, and then, um, became the opportunity to be a vice president. Uh, once again, went back to the family and said, what do you think? Is this an opportunity we should take? And we took it. I think it, it is a, a partnership and a joint effort in everything that we do. And sure, there's been a few sacrifices now and then, if you want to call them that. It's probably call them opportunities more than sacrifices. I can't imagine the last 50 years without this because it's been a part of our life literally every year. Working through the 80s, into the 90s, into the 2000s is a transformation. And Kansas Farm Bureau put things in place that could protect farmers and ranchers. One of the best parts of all of this is how you develop those thoughts. Everybody gets to listen. Everybody gets a voice at the table, and by the time it gets to the state convention where you sign off on all of those, everybody's had an opportunity to say yes, no, or I stand alone. I think that's the most valuable part, and probably one of the things maybe I miss the most about Kansas Farm Bureau is putting everybody's thoughts on the table, allowing everybody to speak. Because of that, it makes us as individual farmers look at things differently than if you would have never been exposed to some of these angles of, of, it, of looking and talking about and thinking about different ways to do things. To have the friends that we've developed then to have our world expanded, there is so much more out there that we have been exposed to and, and enjoy that it's been a fun ride. 